Welcome to Electron Online, and here is a second example of how to verify the identity. With other words, showing that the left side equals the right side. And again, let's start with the left side. And here we're going to use the equivalent for the tangent. We're going to write as a sine over the cosine and see what happens. So usually you kind of realize that since I end up have to end up with sines and cosines here, I'll take the tangent and convert that to sines and cosines, and then we'll probably get close to it. All right, so this can be written as 1 plus the sine of x over the cosine of x divided by 1 minus the sine of x times the, uh, or divided by the cosine of x. All right, I think at that point what I want to do is get rid of the denominators and maybe multiply the top and the bottom by the cosine of x. And of course I kind of glance to the right side and I know when I do that I'll get closer to what I, I'm seeing over there. So I'm going to write this as 1 plus the sine of x divided by the cosine of x, divided by 1 minus the sine of x, divided by the cosine of x, and multiply both the top and the bottom by the cosine of x, like that. Remember, when we divide by the cosine divided by cosine, you're not changing anything. You're basically simply multiplying by 1. So when we do that, we get the following. This times this gives me the cosine of x. This times this, the cosines cancel out, so that's plus the sine of x. And over here, this times this, that gives me the cosine of x. And here, the cosines cancel out, and that's the minus sine of x. And is that indeed what I have over there? And it sure looks like it, so I've just proven that the left side equals the right side, or what we call verified the identity. And that's how we do that.